okay so the next thing we are going to talk about is the document uh, module docs module which will expose our apis to the swagger docs i mean earlier we used to write a swagger yml and then used to we were using swagger ui express to expose the the swagger yml as a web api docs right so but now the next yes you can use a swagger module and it will expose your api specs on a url okay so what we are doing here is this is our apis and this is how the swagger docs you can integrate here it just you just need to pass your app instance to the swagger module dot setup so here are, we are going to write a swagger module and it is just like what is the description title of your apis and then swagger module dot create document document dot setup api this app is your app instance of your application instance of app module and the document so same way we have done it i will just try to show you how we are doing it in the main.ts we need to bootstrap it by importing it first so first we are we already have an app instance so what we will do is we will call create document create document we are calling from the doc swagger and we are just going to pass the app instance that's it so app.listen i think we should do it first before even start listening to the port so stuff it is a builder if you also look into the documentation this is our app instance this is where we created a config and we created a document out of config and then swagger module dot setup api app document this thing we extracted out inside a separate function here in this code base we created a we extracted out this in a separate function passing the app instance here we are creating the builder object we are adding all the tags putting the description values and all and here on to this particular route we are exposing the documents I and mean, we are using express basic auth but if you look into these two lines these are important we created a document by passing the app instance with these options and then swagger module dot setup that's it on the docs route okay so what we will do is this is just uh, coming from documents nothing fancy here we will just import this uh, i mean we don't need to import anything here because this is not a module here if you look into this this swagger.ts file and on the main.ts we imported this so let's start this application again and localhost 3000 we need to access hello world it is still pointing to hello world on the post if I do docs, okay, great, right? This is our API docs has been generated, and we don't have anything much for now. It will actually automatically generate the API docs, but for that, we have to use annotations. So it is just using some default controller created somewhere, I guess. App controller, or uh, this would be a default controller here let's say if i try to redefine this controller okay this is the controller annotation then i can just set an api tag okay there is api tag because these are the swagger docs helper api tags and here i'm just putting the tag name is health then i mean this is a get api even health get function and then uh, we can use nest.js terminus here i will have a module nest.js terminus module should be there i mean this is for the health check what it gives you is you can do the health check by looking into the documentation what is the health of your system you can also check the health of your database so we are going to do the same thing in this health check we are going to first inject the health instead of calling this function we will return this and we are going to inject the the health using health check service we are getting it from the terminus module 
health check service and ping check this is ping check is the type or type or m function first of all just change this so public check and this is health check so we need to annotate this with health check health check we are getting from the terminus this dot db now the database module also we need to pass here inject it so this is what we are doing the dependency injection private db and we can just type rm health indicator the instance name of this now there should be a ping check available there this all coming from this documentation this dot db dot ping check db is coming from type rm health indicator and we are calling ping check okay this we need to import that's it we don't need app service for now there is an error health check service is a provider it's not part of current app module that's correct so what we need to do inside app module we need to pass this terminus module so whatever the app module we have we need to add the terminus module there this is the domain module yes we got it so terminus module the service provided by this module can be injected inside app module okay health check service is a provider current module app module because if i add this in the domain module will it not be available there it's uh, okay i actually put this inside app controller it, it this code can be inside my domain module some controller because if i'm adding it here then i need to inject the terminus module inside app module here it is, and it starts working fine but what we do is uh, that is fine we can keep this controller in the root level inside app controller and now we can check the the docs app health right this is good we try it and our health is okay because type rm connection is good so this is a kind of api health check endpoint we have created and for documentation there are a lot of things you can add here like api okay response and this you need to import from swagger doc api okay response and here you can pass i guess description returns the health check because the status code for this is 200 and this description will get added here returns the health check right the health check is not successful then it in that case it will return 503 so this is how you will add the health check endpoints now coming to our uh, core services inside domain we are going to add our user routes and user controller user services auth routes auth controller auth services and let's look at the package.json meanwhile we all have the required modules migrations is running we have json web token helmet module alias is a separate a particular module that is going to help us a lot while looking for the file in deep down inside the directories okay we have everything so let's write our auth controllers 